So I'm standing here at the basin, at the river basin, the turning basin in Petaluma as the paddlers are going by. And I'm thinking about how great it is. It takes 78 degrees today here in October of 2022. And I thought, you know, I was, what can I do that would be like warnings about Petaluma or five or seven things I could come up with that are negatives about Petaluma. And I guess you can always come up with stuff about any city, right? So anyway, I made a little list and let's just go through it. I found 11 things that you might want to consider that are negatives or things I don't like about Petaluma. So I'm going to share them with you coming up right now. So if you're new to this channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the little bell because I put out a new video every single Friday on my favorite cities in Sonoma County, especially Sonoma, Petaluma, Santa Rosa, Roner Park, Windsor, and Sebastopol, the six main cities. So hit that subscribe button and you'll get all the videos when they come out. And let's go, let's talk about the negatives in Petaluma, coming up right here. Okay, I just had to tell you, I do a great tip for home buyers and home sellers at the end of every single video. So make sure you hang in there and I'll see you at tip time. Okay, so counting down, if you don't like dogs, don't move to Petaluma. <laughs> there's a handful of huge dog parks and there's dogs on every corner with every person. I know it's a big thing in the last decade or two. Everybody has dogs, thank God. Um, but it's a super dog friendly city and if you're kind of a no pet person, you've lived in the city forever and you've never even had a fish, don't move to Petaluma because it's agriculture and it's cows and sheep and well, everybody has a dog. So watch out if you move to Petaluma because there's doggies everywhere. Cooler weather. So um, I know I was over in Sonoma today because I live over there and uh, it's a little bit hot. It's getting up in the upper 80s. I call that perfect myself, but getting up in the upper 80s. But here in Petaluma today, it's 78 and it's typical of Petaluma, especially since there's water here. So it gets a lot of fog. And, um, and then right out there, you always kind of see marine layer coming in that's the pacific ocean about an hour away so it cools off petaluma and it's really great i'm always kind of wearing a sweater in petaluma so it's a little bit cooler so if you were looking to escape the fog in san francisco and a little bit windy windy weather which we don't have today in petaluma uh petaluma won't work for you you're probably going to need to consider sonoma or rona park up the road or maybe santa rosa because it can be cool here very cool when it's hot in the summer in the other cities so watch out for the weather in Petaluma. Oh item seven so the neighborhoods here they range from old west side Petaluma where there's a sprinkling of modern homes okay but you'll see turn of the century Victorian brownstone older houses and then on the other side is the complete opposite it's really really like the 70s 80s 90s homes so you kind of have to decide because it's not going to be like the city life no well there's apartment living and there's condo living but not a whole bunch of it people kind of come to petaluma to own a house and buy a house so think about that if you're single you could live here and be perfectly happy and you can take the train which is right here all the way to larkspur and um hop on the boat and go to a giants game right but if you really want to kind of live in the townhome condo style, there's a little bit right here in, um, in the Wharf District, but it's kind of single family home world. So if you're kind of used to the city, you kind of might want to consider buying a home in Petaluma because that's what people do. Okay, so this one's kind of funny, but I lived in LA for a long time and we go driving out like towards Palm Springs and you'd go through Riverside and there were like tons of cattle ranches out there and I'd be like, "Woo, smells like Petaluma and people would be like, what do you mean? <laughs> right, I'm with all my LA friends and I'm smelling cows and I said, oh, well, you know, I'm from Petaluma, cow country, right? And, um, and so there's less and less of it now, but if you're not used to cow smells, sheep smells and things like that. If you go to a ranch or you go to ride a horse or you go to pick plums at someone's ranch and they have a cow there or something, you kind of get used to it because it's agriculture smell. Also, with the vineyards that are everywhere around here, oftentimes when in the middle of the night, depending on where you're, where you're living, you may hear wind turbines going off and that keeps the frost off the grapes. And that's not so much in Petaluma. 
Uh, it's mostly, mostly like in the valley, in the Sonoma Valley, but you will smell it. So, you know, it's a different world when you venture out of San Francisco. And I just want you to know there's cow smells and there's agriculture smells and you just have to deal with it because it's really gorgeous and it's country living, okay? All right, number five. So Petaluma has big box stores. We have Target, we have Trader Joe's, up the way 15 minutes in Runner Park is Walmart. There is Freeman Brothers here, which is competition to the HD store. Uh, it's the local DIY store. Um, so there's big box stores here. There's not a Costco. You kind of have to drive 20 minutes either way to do that. So there's convenience right out your door here. Uh, and if you're not used to that, <laughs> if you're thinking I gotta get you know on the trolley or something to go to CVS Pharmacy, uh, well, you're gonna have to kind of get used to Petaluma because it's pretty convenient. And um, there's pharmacies around and grocery stores. Sometimes you gotta drive like seven or eight minutes to get to them, but um, well, anyway, you'll get used to it. I'll go on to the next one. So item number four is you're gonna be an hour away from San Francisco. So it's 50 minutes actually to the Golden Gate Bridge if you're commuting. And then, you know, it's a half hour to get down to the financial district or wherever your office is. So that can be a negative for a lot of people. So think about it, think about it. If you had to go to the city three times a month, uh, you're not gonna really care, right? Uh, if you have to go there every day, it's a commute. It's an hour commute, get over the San Francisco Bridge and windy, windy through San Francisco. So, um, and same if you have to work in Oakland. So it's one hour away from the big, big cities. All right, so Petaluma, item number three, is if you've been living in big cities, I always do the warning, warning, Will Robinson warning because <laughs> if you like lounges on Friday nights, like wearing your cool shirt, you know, untucked, not Petaluma. You might want to get a little, you know, Western belt and wear your jeans and your t-shirts, maybe your Birkenstocks. If you wore tie-dye, you wouldn't be out of sorts here, okay? Very funky, very agricultural, very relaxed. No city lounge world where you're bopping and hopping on Friday night in Petaluma, uh-uh. If that's something you dig, you're gonna to have to get in your car and go on Friday nights back to San Francisco or Oakland or somewhere, but Petaluma is probably, I mean, there's bars and there's places to go play pool and of course you can go out to the movies and what have you, but I would say Petalum is a pretty much put to bed by 10 o'clock. All in all. You could probably find some action somewhere, but it's not like the lounge city thing at all. So item number two is it is country living and um, don't expect uh, that big city feel at all. I think that might be one of the tallest buildings right there. Where? Oh, right there. And then next to it, that way, is uh, another tall building. <laughs> it's two-story buildings. Um, a little modernity happened in downtown Petaluma, so there's modern buildings down there that people live in. Three-story lofts right there, so you can get kind of a lofty thing going on. Those are rentals, by the way. Um, and then there's condominium and townhomes down there for about $800,000. And um, so if you like kind of the rustic, wharfy kind of, you know, you've been living that way in San Francisco and you kind of want to repeat it here, you could do it two seconds from here. So uh, otherwise, it's single family home living and country style. Lots of great farmers markets, cheese factories, farm to table, farm to table, farm to table, country living. So anyway, I just wanted to drill that in. And item number one that you just might be bugged about because you might be thinking that you're going to escape the expense of San Francisco. Well, I would say Petaluma is probably one of the most expensive cities in all of Sonoma County. Yeah. The real estate, some of the higher end homes right here in Petaluma. So it's pricey, it's expensive. There's a Whole Foods here, there's fancy, fancy here, fancy restaurants. And you wouldn't know it because everybody's walking in in their flip-flop Birkenstocks, t-shirts, totally chill world here. A little bit of uh, the techno world has leached into Petaluma and in the last two decades, and it's pricey. So just be aware, you're not gonna escape uh, expensive by moving north of San Francisco. That's item number one. 
All right, so you're selling your house and you're moving. This is a big tip. If you want your house to sell immediately, you need to not be there. Now, I know you're working from home and there's kids and there's dogs and there's a lot going on, but you have to plan this into the whole plan of selling your home. Go on a local vacation for the first three to five days that it's on the market. This is when your house is hot. This is when buyers want to look now. They've been looking at all the other stuff. The realtor's been looking at the MLS for two weeks, showing everything, and your house comes on the market. They want to see it that day. So make sure when your realtor hits the live button on the listing service that you're gone from your house and that that realtor and any realtor can go in and see it and buy it. That's how you sell a house fast. So if you're thinking of settling into Petaluma and I didn't scare you away, make sure you look down in the show more section. That's where my phone number is. And I don't care if you're not moving for six months to a year. I know there's a lot of thinking and pondering. I mean, maybe Petaluma is your place, you know, cause you gotta make it to San Francisco five or seven or 10 times a month. Maybe you're thinking of Sonoma over the hills there. Call me, talk to me. I've lived in both places. I love them both. I can tell you the good, bad and ugly and uh, just kind of get you situated and get you some more local information on it. So hit that show more section. It's the little V below the video and, um, and you'll have my contact information. And we look forward to speaking to you. I have a great team ready to help you out and to relocate into Sonoma County. And check out the next video. It's coming up right there.